real estate, there are obvious risks. You know, there are people who work by themselves. They meet with people they don't know at all or very well. They often work out of hours. They work be, uh, behind closed doors. You might be going to meet a person that you know, but you don't know if they're friend or partner or who's there. Often there can be environmental problems, animals, structural issues, slips, trips, falls, all of those sorts of things. For real estate, personal safety is really quite an issue, and particularly loan worker safety, which is what I specialise in. Well, most agencies have something in place. They're aware of this risk, and they manage that risk through uh, check-in and check-out boards, sharing diaries and calendars, their agents go out and they phone back to the office or send texts or send emails to say where they are. Their supervisors know where they should be, but there are better and more sophisticated tools now available inexpensively for agencies to know where their staff are, to know whether they're okay and to be automatically notified in case of uh, accident or emergency. Uh, absolutely, yes, and uh, I, as a specialist in loan worker safety, we market the Stay Safe app and loan worker management system, really, which automatically sends notifications to emergency contacts when there is a problem. Let's say, for example, you're an estate agent and you're going to uh, visit a property, maybe you're meeting with a landlord or a tenant, you set a session running and let's say you're going to be 20 minutes meeting with this individual. If at the end of 20 minutes you come out and everything's okay, you end that session safely, uh, and that's fine, and nobody really needs to know about that. But if you don't, it automatically sends alerts to people that you want it to go to, saying where you are, what you were doing, and what to do about it, so that they can respond rapidly. So all of this can be automated, so it doesn't impact on the smooth running of the office. You know, it doesn't need other people to be keeping track of and remembering to follow up. You know? So, absolutely, yes. The apps, all of the apps have a panic button, or sometimes known as a duress button, um, which means that you can press that button and it automatically sends notifications to people uh, who can respond knowing where you are. Now, people generally believe that with apps on smartphones, you need to be able to unlock the phone, navigate to the app, enter the app, press the panic button and confirm it. And, you know, when you're in an emotional situation, that can be a real problem. And, of course, we understand that, of course, which is why, certainly with Stay Safe, who I represent, we've developed a, a discreet alert, certainly on Android phones, where you can just press the on-off switch four times and that will trigger the alert. Really my top tip is not about technology, you know, it's, it's not about systems and things, it's, it's really about awareness, it's about being aware of the risks and being safety conscious.